A customer asked me to make two pillows out of a fur coat lining from her jacket. The zippers needed to be removed and they wanted to use the inside of the lining of her coat. As you can see, there's a lot of patches already on the fur. The pockets needed to be removed. And here's a little short video on how you cut fur. First of all, you need a very, very sharp X-Acto knife. You very gently cut in the skin of the fur, being careful not to go any deeper to actually cut the fur itself. It's a slow process, but it's worth it when it's finished. Again, this is just a scrap piece just to show you how to cut the fur itself. Gently spread the furs apart. You can see the hair or the fur come apart. And the fur itself is intact with very, very little loss of the actual fur. Not much left. Next, you cut out the actual template for the pillow. Here you can see where it's been patched by myself. Putting uh, the pelts together to form a 14 by 14 pillow. Here is the lining. I used a zipper, which I put towards the top of the backing so the zipper in the back would not become a focal point. I put an interfacing on the back to stabilize the inside lining and sewed it on the machine. Now I'm going to layer the pillow itself, making sure that all the fur is going in the same direction and matching my corners and sides, using plastic clips to hold the fur in place. It's very important that you constantly poke the fur inside the pillow to avoid the fur from coming out. This can be a long and tedious process as the fur is very light and it has a tendency to poke itself out. Once all the clips are in place, we bring it to the sewing machine. I used a straight stitch to attach the layers together. And then I went back over the edges and used a utility zigzag stitch on the ends to create the actual binding or seam of the pillow. And here's the pillow complete the zipper towards the end of the pillow. It was really a great project. Hope you enjoyed the process.